Mm -hmm. uh, just go through statelocalgov.net. State and local government on the net has links to all the state and nationwide offices. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's something I would want to know. Maybe I need to email some more state legislatures for all of those in the Washington state legislature that had sworn that they would support and defend the Constitution. I can emphatically tell you that when you issue court orders without an actual incident of domestic violence, yes, I'm suing you. Every individual in the Washington state legislature. Okay. Now... Uh, you're, you're obligated to have an actual domestic violence uh, incident where it's documented that somebody committed domestic violence. Yes. Now, there's what's known as a temporary restraining order uh, that tells one person to stop harassing or harming another <laughs> without any actual harassment or without any harm to another. Yes. Uh, you can't issue a temporary restraining order. Mm-hmm. Without any domestic violence or child abuse? Yes. You can't issue a temporary protection order. That's right. When my record was expunged, you never had an actual arrest mm -hmm. or allegation of child abuse or domestic violence after July 13th of 2012. Yes. Now, I know that you understand expungement laws. and When it was sealed, yes, and... Well, you alleged domestic violence in 2015, but I was in Port Angeles. <laughs> Did you look at the bus surveillance camera footage? Ouch. Can you issue a citation for violating a protection order? Yes. Where the protection order didn't have the jurisdictional law to be issued <laughs> because there was no uh, actual domestic violence or child abuse. There was never an incident of domestic violence. A restraining order. Power of attorney. Pro se. See, pro per. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I did read this right. A term derived from Latin in propria persona. <laughs> For oneself, used in some states to describe a person handling his or her own case. <laughs> now, uh, this pro se issuance of the protection orders where the petitioner motion the court. Yes. Because as we look at it. <laughs> Can a petitioner petition a court without an actual incidence of domestic violence or child abuse? No. Can somebody just walk into the court and say, well, I've been harassed or something without actually speaking to the person? No. Is it possible to commit a crime of domestic violence or child abuse without the availability of speaking to or even quite possibly touching a person. How is it possible that on um, the uh, October 2nd of 2012, yes, did Pastor Greg Miller say that I committed abuse against Pastor Greg Miller? Mm -mm. Did he say that um, I alleged some sort of abuse or uh, child abuse with my sons? <laughs> Or did he say that Paul, um, well, when you reissued the temporary protection order? Yes. Mm -hmm. After you issued the protection order? Right. When I was found.